And now it's time for the dumb question of the month. Here to answer this month's dumb question, James Patrick Holden. Hello folks, we're bringing back our Dumb Question of the Month series for 2016, and we'll start with something raised by someone in our comments section. When John's Gospel says the disciples caught 153 fish, is this some kind of secret reference to the mysticism of Pythagoras? The idea here is that Pythagoreans thought of 153 as some sort of sacred number associated with something called the measure of the fish, and there's a lot of Looney Tunes sources out there who fly with this claim. But from what I can find in serious sources, while the number 153 was associated with something called the measure of the fish, it wasn't Pythagoras who did it, and it wasn't for mystical reasons. Yeah, there are those who refer to this account from a biography of Pythagoras, but the number 153 isn't mentioned in it, despite what some online accounts claim. And anyway, the guy who wrote it lived some 250 years after the time of Jesus. The actual source of the so-called measure of the fish is this guy, Archimedes. It involved a mathematical formula that described the intersection of two circles. The literal meaning of the Latin phrase we use, by the way, is bladder of the fish, not measure. Now with all this in mind, is there any reason to think John had Archimedes in mind when he says the disciples caught 153 fish? I kind of doubt it. For one thing, this formula came from a somewhat obscure work of Archimedes called On the Measurement of the Circle. It's not the kind of thing you'd see floating into the hands of a moderately literate peasant in Judea. For another, what in the world kind of message does anyone think this would have given John's audience? That Jesus was into technical mathematical formulas? If you ask me, it's a lot more likely that the disciples as fishermen did what all fishermen did to a catch they were going to make money off of. They counted them. And if you want to find mystical significance in the use of the number 153, you can strain that out in lots of places, including the latest news. So that's our first return of the dumb question of the month. We'll try to keep up one a month for a while. Until next time, this is JP Holding. See ya!